are tuned in to the hippest radio station in the Tri-Cities area, 103.5 WAWL. This is Walk the Beat Radio. We're a program dedicated to bringing you the latest in musical talent in our area. Uh, we'd like to thank City Farmer next door to us at 1437 Washington. Um, they're being great and supporting us. Uh, today we have Flex Adestable from Muskegon, and we're super happy to have you guys here. Thanks for having us. It's awesome. Thanks. You can we're make happy it to down. be here. Yeah. So, you guys got a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, been gigging a lot, practicing a bunch, talking about recording an album here soon. We've got enough tracks, I think. So. Mm-hmm. You mean here? Like, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but when I walked in there, that's what I thought at first. Yeah. I was like, oh, this looks, God, looks like a good space. As yeah. soon as I saw the yeah. space, all the instruments, yeah. Yeah. So. And that soundboard. Consider yeah. it. Yeah. Right. It's Definitely good. will. Do good work here, you yeah. know. But anyways... Um, so tell me about yourselves a little bit for people that don't know anything about Flexidusple. Well, we're a seven piece band. We consist of a, a trumpet, trombone, a saxophone, and then a guitar, bass, and drums. Yep. And, and my, yourself. Myself on vocals. Yeah. Right on. Um, we started last February, I believe, mm-hmm. with a, a different drummer. Yeah, and, and a different, different trumpet player. Trumpet player mm-hmm. under yeah. the name of Arl Seduction, Arl which we changed because <laughs> we got tired of having to spell it every single time we said our yeah. name and everybody was looking up Oral Seduction, so nobody yeah. knew who we were. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, no. So we decided to go with a simpler, not that much simpler, name of Flex A Decibel. <laughs> right. Still have to spell it a lot, but... Right. What made you come up with that? Like, I, I heard it, no, that's pretty interesting. We, uh, yeah. we were tossing around band names for... Like, a week? At, just At least. You'd and be off your feel phone. like there was a list of so many just ridiculous ones. And then, mm-hmm. I don't know, we kind of liked the, uh, the play on words with hexadecimal and also mm-hmm. implying the bending of sounds. Yeah. So. That's cool. That was like four days of just shooting names back and forth <laughs> over like yeah. Facebook Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So from we listened to a little bit of your stuff earlier, and I've listened to it for I mean, not consistently, but I heard it a few months ago. Um, Blue, when Blue said uh, "rage with horns," so yeah. that was really yeah. cool. Like that's <laughs> yeah. a, you know I like I mean it's a, we'll take a, that a lot more <laughs> lighthearted in a lot of aspects. I think your music, I think, but. That heavy, just kind of metallic sound, not like metal, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. But right. it's just sharp. It mm-hmm. sounds good. You yeah. Know? It's been, some people have described it as like heavy funk, which I guess yeah. kind of makes sense sometimes. We throw down like a heavy dancey right. kind of tune. Yeah. Well, and we kind of go back and forth between more like hard rock influence stuff with horns, but then into some funky grooves also. <laughs> right. So. Mm-hmm. So what I really wanted to ask you guys about, I was thinking about this last night and the day before when I was talking to you was the show you just did at the intersection with Twiddle. Oh yeah. How yeah. was it? That was It was awesome. awesome. Dude, I bet. It was a They're lot of so lot good. Of yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love them, you know. Yeah, man. Twiddle was amazing. Very that was, impressive. That mm-hmm. was probably the best sound system I've ever played on. Oh yeah, in my for life sure. Too. It was amazing. And yeah. I I am a sound tech's worst nightmare because I know almost nothing about like soundboards and tech. I know like the very basic things, mm. and they have an old school soundboard where I'm used to like the first band will go up and they'll do all their sound stuff and then they'll save it like save one mm-hmm. and then everybody uses the same mics and they'll oh, do yeah. save two. So I walk up, uh, Twiddle had already done their. Uh, their sound check walked up, grabbed the vocal mic, and all the sound dice are like, "No!" <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" They Dude. all like, <laughs> they were like, "Don't touch anything." So from that point on, I just kind of sat on the stage and waited for them to tell me to sing. Yeah, <laughs> but um, funny. it was awesome. The intersection, everybody was really courteous. Yeah, everybody was had great great things to say when we were finished. Mm-hmm. So. Right on. Twiddle, Twiddle was threw down amazing non-stop yeah. the Probably whole time from beginning to end too. yeah, yeah. The crowd was yeah. awesome a lot of yeah. new people it was good it was a great show yeah. we had lots of our uh, our friends from muskegon come down to it too so that was kind of fun that mm-hmm. is so but, nice it's yeah. close enough to do that right you know i mean yeah. really making people from home proud doing that right. kind of stuff you know <laughs> it's cool we got lots of friends who are you know jam band fans too mm-hmm. so when we mm-hmm. told them we were opening for twiddle they're like yep i'll be there yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a pretty loyal fan base in muskegon we're very lucky for that yeah. So 
Shout out to all of our Muskegon fans. Thanks yeah. for supporting us. Yeah, we just had Dr. K. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Not long ago. Joe We're good and, friends with Joe and Will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they came down. It was really cool. Yeah. They're, nice. They're the nicest. I grew up with Joe around here. He's just a super great dude. Yeah. And, you know, and then I found out he played drums <laughs> and then the way he played drums. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a killer drummer. So good. So how do you get something like that hooked up at the intersection? Man? Um, how did so that come about, you know? We, uh... They had posted something about looking for um, opening acts for talk. Mm-hmm. And so we, uh, we contacted their booking guy, Chad Verway, mm-hmm. and um, put in for that. And he was like, well, they went with other support, ended up taking Desmond Jones. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, but we need someone for Twiddle. And we were like, well, hell yeah, we'll take that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and then they hit us back. They were like, yeah, we're on. So Sweet. <laughs> And that was it. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> cool. then there we were. The intersection's a cool place, too. I played there a battle of, of the bands back in high school. Right. And the sound is incredible. Right. I mean, when you're on stage, you really like feel like you're playing. Right. You yeah. Know, which is nice. And the techs there take great care of you, too. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I, with horns, we're kind of like picky about monitors because we need to be able to hear each other. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like they're they're okay with yeah, that. It was, yeah. So. A very <laughs> thorough sound check. Yeah. It was, it was very weird, like, because I'm used to it. You know, us going up and all of us setting up for a minute, and they just they did everything. We just kind of sat back, like, all right, like, yeah. you know, sucking our yeah. teeth, and they were just running around doing everything for us. It was it's a lot was different than awesome. having to set up our own PA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. so nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right on. Well, we should get to this first too. We've been talking for a minute. Um, what's it called? I didn't write any of them down. The like first one on the CD mm-hmm. is called All Good. All good. It's a song about how sad Marshall is. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We're all sad. At least he's honest about it and we'll tell people about it. You know, that's yeah. a burden you'll live with. Uh, that's a, a song I worked on for about a year. I originally yeah. wrote it for a different track, but I just wasn't feeling it. So I just said, forget it. And then Rob came to me later. Our guitarist Rob came to me later and was like, check out this group. That's a little sadder than the one you tried. Right? <laughs> right and so uh, I wrote it to that as about a... A, an almost five year relationship I had that came to a pretty brutal halt, but mm-hmm. you know, pain is kind of where a lot of great art stems from in the first place. So right. yeah. 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 I think everybody can relate to that. I love that song by yeah. the way. Thank you. I Thank do. you very much. So That's... this is all good by Flexidustable recorded live at unruly brewing. <laughs> Doesn't mean it didn't cheat. 
said you wish you were with him when you were with me. Can you fathom what that did to my self-esteem? For the number of mine, spread your lies. Say you still want to be friends, girl, did change your meaning? Oh, man. talk about my band. Being the lead vocalist, I get a lot of the attention and a lot of the credit for it, but these guys put way, way, way more hours into it than I do. And uh, I would be absolutely nothing without them. So thank you guys very, very much. We would be absolutely nothing without you. <laughs> I love you guys. He pretends to be humble. All right, we're back. This is Walk the Beat Radio on 103.5 WAWL. We are the hippest radio station, and I hope your opinion of that is an opinion that's good. <laughs> <laughs> because this music that we're playing right now is awesome. And these guys, Flex Decibel from Muskegon, are killing it right now. You guys are thank great, you. man. Thank you. Thank you very I much. I love that song. I'm yeah. just going to keep telling you that because I do like... I mean, the sound is fantastic. It's it's nice and like cool and kind of mysterious, right. you know, underlay to these very like intense lyrics and vocals. You know, I mean, that's a good story that you got there. Thanks, mm -hmm. thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad some good came out of that situation. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was also like a thousand percent cheaper than therapy would have been. So absolutely, that's what, I mean, that's what it is. You know right. it. And you guys are utilizing music in exactly the way that it should be. Yeah, this know? band really, really saved me. Because, like, right, that was one of the first songs we wrote on. I was kind of in, like, a dark place. When we first started this band, you know, I have trouble, like, talking about, like, what I'm feeling and stuff like that. But in a song, I can scream it at a crowd of 50 strangers. And, <laughs> yeah. and it's okay. Right. Yeah. Man. So if, you, if you're okay with it, you want to give us a little background on that one? Um... Just, we, yeah, I was with this girl for a long time. We were high school sweethearts, the only, like, real, like, relationship either one of us had ever been in, and mm -hmm. we'd been in it for a long time, and we got engaged, and then she broke it off, but we were still together, and then started talking, she started talking to this guy at work, and then mm -hmm. I found out through some messages, and pretty much everything that went on from there, we broke up, and she told a lot of people some things that didn't happen like mm -hmm. uh, that I you know kicked her out of the apartment and yelled at her and all this stuff that didn't really happen just trying to you know put the blame a little less on her to make her feel 
mm-hmm. a little less guilty, I well, think. And that like that messes with you, you know. I mean, not only is it like you you've severed ties with this person, but then like all the baggage and drama, you know, people just become people right. at that point, you know, and it sucks. Mm-hmm. The song you know? the song helped with that a lot. I mean, I'm not in contact with this person anymore, but I also don't harbor any ill feelings. I didn't post like a lot of mean things on Facebook or anything, but I did kind of write a song about it. So <laughs> yeah, but you, you're a black. That was your, right. that was your you're therapy. Right. You're a singer, right. You're a right. musician. That's what right. you do. Right. You Put know? your pain on paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's good. And oh, then through real. the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So it, it helped a lot. Yep. Uh, very relatable. I mean, I remember the first time hearing it a couple months ago, like I told you, it gave me chills. <laughs> some of those lines in there, it's just be- because we've, all kind of been through something right. like that at right. some point, you know? Well, even if like, if like one person can like relate to, you know, whatever pain I tried to channel or pain or emotion or like happy or good times or whatever, if one person like can relate to that and comes up to you and says, Hey, I really felt like what you put into that song, like that's alone was worth like all the work and practice and drives Absolutely. and all that. Right. Yep. And then just to be able to keep doing it and keep reaching mm-hmm. more people, it's like, Oh it yeah, must be so nice. I'm v- I'm very I'm very blessed. Uh, I owe that to uh, our guitarist Rob mm-hmm. Rob a lot because I've always done music, but for the longest time it was just I just did acoustic stuff like me and my guitar, mm-hmm. and uh, I didn't know chords or anything, so like my guitar was like very limited. I just all my ear. <laughs> but Rob, since high school, has been trying to like recruit me as his vocalist, and was always like, "Yo, come on, we got to do this. I got this band. I got this jam band." Like throughout the years, mm-hmm. and just kept wearing me down and then uh like after my breakup like nothing he was just trying to keep myself busy i was like all right i'll come jam with you guys once that's awesome <laughs> and, that's such a good story and so i went and jammed with him once and then he was like we got this show at this bar just like a 40 minute set like, yeah you should do that and i was like all right i'll do one show with you guys and we practiced for like happens. two weeks uh-huh. and like all of us had got together like the day before the show, like for the first time everyone was there. Oh man. And <laughs> that's it, awesome. It, yeah, went, so. <laughs> it went great though. Everybody, like I had a couple of people come up to us like after that show and be like, how long are you guys touring? It's like, we started practicing like two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday was the first time we'd got everybody together and not our drummer now, but our drummer at that time was hammered. We went and pulled him out of a bar and it's like, we got to practice. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we got him down. Oh man! And, <laughs> and we did that like first show, and I was I was hooked. Yeah. I messaged him that night and was like, you know, I told him from the beginning. I told Rob like, I'm just this isn't like a permanent thing. I'm just like jamming with you guys. But I had no choice after that first show. I was hooked, and yep. we've been doing it ever since. <laughs> the way it happened was kind of funny because um, I was talking about this on the way here. I like I hadn't played my trombone in uh, seven years, probably. Mm-hmm. And then our bass player. Our bass player came up and he's like begging me to like join this band. Really wants to make a band with horns or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, "All right, we got a gig in a month." And then, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just like a couple of us got together to practice some things. And then yeah, like the last two weeks, we really like grinded it out or whatever. And then like played that gig and just kept going. Mm-hmm. That's so. awesome. <laughs> so you think things have like solidified a little more over that. I mean, it's been a little over a year now. Yeah. Yeah. I would say like the band that we have currently now has been like since last summer, Mm -hmm. I would say where like we got our new drummer and started working on originals for the while we were just doing like 40 minutes to an hour of covers. Mm -hmm. And now we have like a permanent like set. We just got our new trumpet player too. Yeah. Um, so now, yeah, I would say it's solidified. Like, Obviously, the dream is to just be able to just do nothing but mm-hmm. play music and make money. But right. uh, even if nothing else, like, I couldn't Still imagine. Still fun to play. Yeah, I couldn't imagine but. a world. Even if we were just doing, like, local gigs for, like, just oh. enough to cover the gas to get there, I couldn't imagine right. a world where we weren't doing it anymore. So, yeah. yeah, it's pretty solidified. Also, like, every single member in the band, like, I, I knew Rob, like, since high school a little bit. Mm-hmm. Now every single member in the band is like one of my best friends. Yeah. We hang out we all hang the time. Out quite yeah. a bit. We're really close. Yeah. Well, and that's how it's got to be too. I mean, you got to you have to form those bonds. You have to, you know, mm-hmm. get, get on each other a little bit about things because whatever one person is doing is affecting all of you. Yeah. Right. You know. So it, it yeah. I think it develops a good level of 
maturity, especially with that amount of people. I mean, I only play with two other people and that's kind of easy to manage, but right. you guys have five other people besides yourselves. <laughs> yeah. The you scheduling know? thing, the scheduling is the most difficult Hectic, though. But yeah. I mean, everybody like, I think everybody's got, you know, the same level of commitment and committed to being diligent about being at practice mm -hmm. and, that's good. you know, practicing outside of practice and, mm -hmm. Trying, you can't to, be trying to make it happen. Yeah, I mean, you can't be babying people, you know, right. no matter how good they are. It's like, it, oh, just, no. it drags you down, right. you know? Yeah, there's not a single member of our band that's, you know, well, maybe like, you shouldn't be doing this kind of thing. <laughs> it's like, where the hell were you on Friday? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, we're very, we're very <laughs> upfront and blunt with it's each like, other when yeah. someone's doing something. Why mm -hmm. weren't you at practice? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not acceptable. <laughs> so, yeah. Unless you got a good reason. Well, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you, you, your grandma better be like on a deathbed, <laughs> you know? <laughs> or you're like violently ill. Right. Yeah. You know? like, yeah, for sure. In that case, don't come and get the rest of us sick. You know? <laughs> right on. Well, we're going to get to the next song. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't write any of them down earlier. What's it called? Uh, I think the next one is Dirty Girl. Dirty Girl. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> so Sounds our, interesting. So, our, so our, <laughs> our song titles usually are like working titles, and, and then sometimes we just, we just never change them. them. Yeah. So we just like so you know, come up with a with groove and name it something. Yeah. Right on. I know but. how that goes. Cool. Well, this next song is called Dirty Girl by Flexidecibel.
so we hold the night. Thank you all so much. We are Flexidecimal. That song we played was the first song we ever wrote together. All right. We got a pretty sing song for you next. We are back in the studio with Flexidecimal. This is Walk the Beat Radio on 103.5, and things are going well so far today. <laughs> yeah. How do you guys feel? Dude, Good. Great. I've had an awesome time. This yeah. is my first radio Mine as well. musical interview kind of thing. It's been awesome. Really? I'm having a great time. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yes, this has been fantastic. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good to have you guys here. You're so talented. Thank you. I mean, Thank really, you very much. Thank you. You can hear that you're putting in the work, you know, and that's what it's about. Thank you. You know? Yeah. Thank you. It's nice to hear that. Yeah. We're trying, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you're on the right path. Absolutely. So tell us about that last song. We, we, I, we had to cut you short because we yeah. wanted to get the story. But. <laughs> yeah. uh, that last song was the first song um, we had ever written together as a group. This, it was actually the first song I'd ever written that wasn't just me and my guitar in my room alone. This was my first like song working with other people. Um, and it was uh, all, all, pretty much word for word uh, is stuff that happened to me. One night, it was one of the, like, the best nights of my life. I had, like, no money, and I was working for, like, this minimum wage job, and I had, I think, like, $10 or something. I was, um, I just decided uh, to go down to downtown Grand Rapids and, like, play for tips, like, on the street, because I did that at, like, Coast Guard and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'd go down and play for tips and make, like, decent money, and I tried getting, like... I hit up Rob and like a couple other of my friends trying mm -hmm. to get him to come down and everybody was busy and I was like, I'll just go by myself. And so I grabbed my guitar and I went to downtown Grand Rapids and was just like playing um, down on the streets and I made like quite a bit of money that night, number one. Like I went there with like a quarter tank of gas and left with a full tank of gas and like a pack of cigarettes and I'd gone to the bar and like been drinking and still had $30 and like went back home. So <laughs> That's like, that was nice. great. That was yeah. a great night. And then like <laughs> while I was playing, like a lot of people kept stopping because, you know, it was like Saturday night, downtown Ionia, Grand oh, Rapids. Yeah. So people were drinking and like, yeah, guitar guy. And <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, of course. Uh, giving me money yeah. and like stopping and people <laughs> talking to me. And uh, I had met a couple girls at that point and went, to the bar and danced with them and then hung out with them afterwards and this one um guy like stopped you'd hear me saying in the song this one guy stopped and was like looking at me and then like like flipped me off and like was telling me that i was like panhandling and all that which i'm pretty sure he was panhandling like too <laughs> but he was just he was obviously yeah. like gone at that point mm -hmm. and like at that point i was like whatever i was thinking about going back and then he grabbed my guitar and started pulling on it and like it Kicked it back, and then these two guys who had come up to me earlier and was like, they were like drunk, but they were like, yeah, they were really digging it, and they were like, I love uh -huh. what you're doing. It came over. Saw that guy and just <laughs> pushed him and started like kicking him and stuff. And they were oh, like, no. leave him alone. And I was oh. like, stop. Like, and yeah. So I got him up. I was like, fine. Like, Don't we just gotta him. go. Like, everybody just go. And yeah. So at that point, I went and put my guitar back in my car and yeah. just started going to the bars. Dude, busker wars. <laughs> yeah, right. it was it was a crazy. Great night, and then after that, like I'd went and hung out with like those girls that I had met, and then at that point it was like three in the morning, and I called my friend, and I was like, "What's going on?" They were like, "It's a party at this guy's house," and I was like, "I'm there!" <laughs> <laughs> went there and told everybody what happened. It was just, it was a great night, one of the best nights of my life, and it was like, "There's no way, I'm not writing a song about yeah. everything that had happened." Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, like I said, I mean, you guys are just using music for what it is, telling your story, man. Yeah. Like, that's cool. You know? <laughs> Thank it's you. definitely what? something to be said about that, you know? Yeah. I've, I've always tried, like, writing, like, keeping, like, a journal and things like that, but I just don't have the patience to, like, sit down no. and, like, write stuff. So, like... Well, the stuff that you, you remember is obviously the stuff that you're supposed to remember. Right. You right. know, and all the little stuff is just kind of, you know, every every day sort of thing, mm -hmm. you know? But that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was, it was go to like Grand Rapids. Say, yeah. Go to Grand Rapids. No money whatsoever. <laughs> Make a bunch of money playing music. Hang out with some cool people. <laughs> Get attacked by some crazy guy on the street. Yeah. Like, yeah. Song. It was, it was great. Yeah, it was, it was. It was a great night. I was super pumped about it. Rob was really upset that he didn't end up going with me. I think he just ended up like sitting at home that night, and oh, I told him man. about it. And he was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." <laughs> Got to go out when your friends yeah. call, man. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Well, we're going to get to this third song and then wrap it up. We've been, we've been talking, I don't know for how long, but um, it's called Groover Cleveland. Tell me a little bit. This actually was like one of the few songs that I've written that hasn't, that hasn't been on uh, like true events. Like I was just like, I'm going to write a song about like cool things that could happen. So it's just a song I wrote about going out and those moments where you meet someone like a, uh, you know, someone that you're interested in romantically, mm-hmm. but it never goes anywhere. But, oh, yeah. but you go out and you talk to them and you dance with them and maybe you kiss and get like, you know, some drinks with them and make some memories. And then you go your separate ways and never see each other again. But like, they're always like, there was that one girl at that bar. That was really cool. Like, yeah. I feel like that's happened to a lot of people. So that's yeah. kind of what the song is about. That is cool. Yeah. I mean, that I'm sure that's happened to all of us yeah. in this room multiple times so <laughs> yeah. right on. all right well this is groover cleveland by flexidecibel please enjoy we hope you've enjoyed so far blue hit it once again we are flexidecibel you've all been fucking amazing Curly burnet hair, cat calls coming left and right. Boys can be so cool, but you need a man to treat you right. Then she goes start to dance. Curves like yours are what inspires romance. You got good former dance, Mr. Brown said, All right, somebody can hit a high flame. Glad I brought my dancing shoes. Call me Severin, what is you? I wasn't fooled by your rules. If your eyes were mine, then you were watching me. Watching the hips, but I could ask her today. She put a finger on my lips. So she said, Get up on it, get up and get down, get up on it, get up on this old turn around, get up on it, get up on it, get down, get up on it, get up on this old turn around.
gonna say. Get up on it. Get up and get down. Get up on it. Get up on this old church. That was Groover Cleveland by Flexidecibel. Didn't get to listen to it too much. I'm sorry. You got. It's, I love talking to you guys. Man. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's been great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had a great fun. time. Thanks for having us out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thanks a lot. So if people are looking for you, where can we find you? Uh, you can go on our website. That's flexidecibel.com. You want to spell that for us? It is flex a decibel. Yeah. So exactly. Three words pushed together as one <laughs> it's such a cool name <laughs> uh, we have flexadecibel.com or you can go to our facebook page flexadecibel we post all of our uh, upcoming shows and what have you up there we also have soundcloud and bandcamp and our live album mm-hmm. is on both of those right on so. cool well we will have to see all of that yeah everybody listen if you miss some of this interview these guys are really really good you should definitely check them out it's a very unique sound for our West Michigan area, and they need to be heard a little bit more, you know? You guys kill it. Thanks. So uh, we'd like to thank City Farmer next door to us at 1437 Washington. Um, they're being great and supporting us. Um, thanks, Bill Chrysler at Third Coast Recording Company, where we are right now for letting us use this space. Uh, thank you, David Darling, for your video work. You are so fantastic. He is putting in so much good work. And Blue, thank you for doing audio engineering for us. Keep it real, everybody, and don't forget to listen local. The Walk the Beat radio show is recorded in Grand Haven, Michigan. Production and engineering provided by Blue Van Dyke. Featuring your host, Dave Palmer.